Death of Lord Rama Born as the eldest son of Kausalya and Dushratha, king of Ayodhya, Lord Rama is referred within Hinduism as Maryadaparishottama, literally the perfect man or lord of self-control or lord of virtue. His life and journey is one of adherence to Dharma despite harsh tests and obstacles and many pains of life and time. A lot of people are not aware of how Sri Rama died. The answer to this question is extremely fascinating as it holds several mysterious and enthralling stories. Sri Rama ruled for 11,000 years and performed numerous yagnas for the benefit of his people. His sons and the sons of his brothers were made kings in many part of the large empire that he ruled. During this period Siddha Devi also disappeared from earth when she was taken back by Buddhavi, Mother Earth. Love and Kush grew to be just rulers like their father. Then came the time for Rama to leave for the heavenly. When a sage came to meet Lord Rama. One day a sage came to Rama and asked him for a private audience. The saint said that no one should enter the room in which they were having the conversation. Sri Ram directed Lakshman to guard the door of the room and said that if anyone entered the room during the conversation he will be put to death. In some versions of Ramayana, it is said that the saint was none other than Kala Deva, or time. The sage appeared to remind Rama that the objective of his appearance on earth was complete and it was time for him return to Vakunta. While Lakshmana was keeping a watch, the short-tempered sage Durvasa approached him and demanded entry. He was furious when he was stopped. He threatened that he will lay a terrible curse of destruction on Ayodhya and its inhabitants and on the entire Raga clan. Lakshmana was in a fix. And Lakshmana surrendered. Lakshmana weighed the pros and cons. He concluded that his death would indeed be a lesser calamity than the entire population of Ayodhya being destroyed. So, he admitted Durvasa and received the punishment gladly. Lakshmana decided every act of his, on the touchstone of either Rama's wish or the general good. Soon Lakshman realized that this particular situation was the play of time for him to disappear from earth. He readily agreed to the play of Kala, time. This is how Rama Avatar died. He then walked into the Sareya river and took the form of Ananta Sesha. Sri Ram who came to know about the death of Lakshman decided that it was time to end his avatar. He then handed over his responsibilities to his sons and bid adieu to all. Lord Rama walked deep into the Sareya river and disappeared. Soon in the same spot Sri Vishnu appeared resting on Ananta Sesha and blessed his devotees.